Welcome back to yet another unboxing video, and today we have a game from Twilight Creations Inc. called Little Dead Riding Hood, a zombie fairy tale. Little Dead Riding Hood, a zombie fairy tale? Little Red Riding Hood checked the action of her 9mm and put it back into the shoulder holster under her cloak. Things had certainly changed since the big bad wolves started rising from the dead and giving all of the Little Red Riding Hood sisters such a hard time. Don't forget your knife, Red Mother reminded her. I know, Mom, Little Red sighed and retrieved the knife from the table. Duh. Little Red Riding Hood is a racing game. Each player assumes the role of one of the Riding Hood sisters trying to desperately to get supplies to their beloved grandmother. Simple, really, except for those pesky zombie wolves. Each game includes one board divided for two, three, four, and five players, 46 cards, 75 tiles, 50 chits, one fabric bag, five plastic player pawns, and complete rules and a 25 plastic zombie wolves. Again, this game is from Twilight Creations. Over here, we'll take a look at. It's for two to five players. It takes about 30 to 60 minutes to finish it, and it's for ages 13 and up. This was a demo game that I picked up at a budget store for uh, $3.99. So let's crack this bad boy open and see what kind of goodness we have on the inside. As you can tell, the box a little bit ratty. Again, probably why I cost $3.99 when I picked it up, but there you go. It's a little broken up box. As you can tell, it's a little dinged around the corners as well, but that's all right. Of course, Twilight Creations is, brings you the board game, which I've done lots of reviews for, of the Beer and Pretzels game, uh, Zombies. So this is another uh, game that they put out. So let's take a look here. Little Dead Riding Hood, a zombie fairy tale, and this is the uh, instruction manual. Put everything else aside for a second. Let's take a look at the rule book. Little Dead Riding Hood, a zombie fairy tale, and right here is the background information to the game. Game contents, game objectives. Be the first re little red, uh, little riding hood to get to grandma's house. And here's an example of the game setup. Play sequence, choose a helper and resolve if appropriate. Pre-movement combat, if there are any zombie wolves on your square, and then you move. Pretty simple, looks like. Game player, I should say game play. The board, helper cards, the prince, wicked queen, the huntsman, fairy godmother, Youngest brother and the evil stepmother. Cards. Tiles. Card path, bullet path, wolf path. Obstacle. Until all those are used. Movement, what you can and can't do. Combat, bullet tokens, wolf token. Card effects, further detail. It goes right in here. End of the game. The first player to land on a path piece that crosses the line out of the woods wins the game. See illustration. Let's take a look at the back. And you have a nice picture here detailing the explanation of what things are, where they go, all kinds of things and examples. So basically the rule book's about, I'd say about 10 pages. One, two, three, four, five, six. Actually, it's seven pages, so it's not many rules whatsoever. That's cool. So there's your rule book. Next thing, I've got a board. Let's take a look at the board. And there it is. So let's take a look up this way first. It's not a big board. At all. I like the detail on it though. I do like the, the woods, the color of it. Very cool. Grandma's house. Bottom half of the board. Could be starting positions for each of your players, one through five. Again, this is for two to five players, so there's your board. So, so far you got your board. Got your rule book. You've got the bag to put your tiles inside of. 
a little dusty and dirty, but that's okay. When it's used, it comes that way. All right, so you got a cool little cloth bag there. It's a nice bag. Drawstrings it, nice. No holes, that's always a good thing. There you go, put that up top there like that. We've got, let's see what else we got here. We have our silver bullet tokens. I put them in a little sandwich bag prior to uh, the unboxing. We got a bunch of those, all more of the same. Got your bullet token. That's a bullet on one side, nothing on the other. Got a whole bag full of those. And you have path pieces. You got a whole slew of these. So take a look at some of them. Got a, I could take a whole mess of these. Taking them out of the box here. So we could all take a look at them. Right. So there's your bullet path. You got your block path. You got your wolf path. And nothing on the other side, but there you go. Examples of each. So they're all, it looks like they're all the same. So it's either going to take bullet path or the wolf path. You got lots of wolf paths. And that's the three tiles that you have. And you get this many tiles in the box. So you get a whole mess of a lot of these tiles. more of them. So you get all those tiles. Again, three main types are your basically you're being blocked. Oh, there's an empty space there too. There you go. Walking path. And you get your again your bullet one, your wolf one, and your block path. There you have it. So those are your four tiles. We also have cards. Really like the artwork on it. Very, very cool. Got the knife, got the gun, got the head in the basket. Got the wolf that uh, doesn't look too happy behind you. Little dead riding hood, a zombie fairy tale. All the fronts are the same. Or back of cards, depending on how you want to look at it. And then we have this. So we mentioned in the rule book, these are some cards here. So you got, again, very, very cool artwork. Really cool. You got the Huntsman card. You got the Evil Stepmother card. These are the specialty cards. You got Wicked Queen. The Fairy Godmother says, you may take a card, a bullet, and place a tile. All other players may take either a card, a bullet, or place a tile. So only one. You get all three. Everybody else gets one of the items. The youngest brother, you may play an additional card this turn. You have the prince. You may move one space and switch two tiles. And then you have your story cards, which are all right here. So let's take a look at some of these. Discard this card to redo a combat card. Cake and wine. Please be a prince. Turning straw into gold. Discard this card to take three additional bullets. Please be a prince. Discard this card to take one additional bullet token. Who's been sitting in my chair? Discard this card to trade hands with another player. The slipper fits. Discard this card. Take any card from the discard pile and add it to your hand. What a big mouth you have, happily ever after. What big eyes you have. Jacob and Wilhelm, that is not my name. Happily ever after. Who is Who in the land is fairest of all? Trail of breadcrumbs. What big hands, what big hands. Picking flowers. 
off the pad, off the pad. What a big mouth you have, cake and wine. Who is nibbling at my little house? All the better to eat you with. What big eyes you have. The slipper fits. Who is, there, who in the land is fairest of all? Wicked old witch that says, discard this card to take one bullet from all other players. Jacob and Wilhelm. So you have a lot of doubles of the cards. Trail of breadcrumbs. Wolf. That is not my name. Turning straw into gold. All the better to eat you with. Wolf. Wicked old witch. Who's been sitting on my chair once upon a time and picking flowers. So there's your deck of cards as well. And your specialty cards. Okay. You have up to five players, so you have five sister tokens, or figures, I should say. There's your green one. All the sculpts are the same. So you got a green one, a yellow one, blue one, the red one, Again, all the sculpts are the same except for the color. And you have a black one. And of course, you've got wolf figures. And all the wolf figures are exactly the same. The zombie wolf. Definitely a cool figure. Nice detail. You can paint these up really, really quick. If you choose to. Again, you don't have to choose. You don't have to paint them up, of course, actually, but probably very easy to paint them all up. There you go. And you've got basically a good amount of them. And they're all the same sculpt again. And you get even some even more of them. And there you have it. You've got your cards, you've got your tiles. Oh, there's another tile. And there's your starting marker. There you have it. This is everything that's included in. Twilight Creations, Little Dead Riding Hood. Thank you again for joining me for this unboxing video. If you enjoyed it, you can give us a like, leave a comment below. Of course, you could always subscribe to the channel as well. This way you kept, you're be kept up to date with all the newest unboxing videos and other materials that we'll be placing online. Again, thank you so much for joining us. Be safe, be well, enjoy the remainder of your day, and we'll catch you on the next unboxing video.